Hey everyone, welcome to day three of our Crown Princess 10 night Alaskan cruise. We're having such a great time on this cruise so far. We are, and today we are headed to Juneau. We should mm -hmm. be arriving around one o'clock. I'm super excited. I am so excited. So let's go ahead and dive into today. Beautiful morning here out on our deck. The sun's coming through. We saw some whales a little bit earlier. Cute little fishing boats going by. What do you have there? <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, there's five of us, so. <laughs> you enjoying the Titanic music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gentleman playing his little recorder thing out there. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's lovely out here though. Sun's yeah. out, a little cold the, breeze. Is the music calming? <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried. <laughs> we haven't seen any icebergs yet, so we're good. Not yet. in the distance there, some ships. We're getting close. Yeah, we can't uh, port for two more hours, so I'm wondering if we're gonna crawl in. Yeah. I think that may be the pilot approaching us from behind, but we couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day to sail into Juno. You can see the Gold Belt Tram. Last time we were here, we went up there, did some hiking. Look, it's the Norwegian Jewel. We took that to the Caribbean. Western, Western Caribbean out of- uh, Houston. Houston. That's right out of Houston, not, not Galveston. Not Galveston. Near the Kima Boardwalk. All the planes are coming in. Ready to take people on excursions. And we're docking over here, it looks like. We've never docked here before, so. We've docked there, and we've docked way down there, but not here. It looks like we've got a couple other ships here, and then downtown Juno. That was the cone. <laughs> you didn't notice? I didn't notice. <laughs> it's good. It's good? Uh-huh. It's time to get off the ship. It is. We made it off the ship. They are selling some tours here, but we're gonna take the seawalk to downtown. It's not too far. And they've got this covered area here, which is handy in case you have to wait in the rain. Woo woo, Juno, we are here. And we're gonna head to the bus and head to the Mendenhall Glacier in Nugget Falls. We're gonna try the city bus this time. Really nice, beautiful boardwalk here from our ship towards the downtown area. Crown Princess, New Amsterdam, and the Celebrity Eclipse. Sm oh, watch out. Woo. Excuse me. <laughs> that looks fun. It smells fishy. <laughs> what smells fishy here? Yeah, it smells fishy. Taku Fisheries. There's all the fish going up the little uh, conveyor belt up there. So last time we were here, we did the Gold Belt Tram up Mount Roberts. That was a ton of fun. We'll put a link to that video below in the description so you can easily find it. We're not gonna be doing that today. There goes one of the trams up Mount Roberts. This one is called the Eagle and there's also one called the Raven. Now, if you're looking for excursions here at the port, there's several booths selling them. Everything from whale watching to the Mendenhall Glacier. Do you want any information? Because conveniently, there's a visitor center right here, right by Tracy's King Crab Shack. Tracy's King Crab Shack. This is the famous place to go if you want to have fresh crab. There's already a long line forming. It's 
pretty cool though. They cook the crab outside and you can watch them prepare it and see how it's done. Alaskan Brewing Public House. That looks like a really nice place for lunch. At Pier 49. This is where we docked last time. Celebrity Eclipse. Along the way, you'll see totem poles and murals. And as we pass the public library, you'll also see Marine Park, which commonly has vendors selling various items. Now we're gonna turn down Egan Drive and cross over. And right next to the Four Point Sheraton is where you're gonna find the transit center. Luckily, the bus was right here to take us out to Mendenhall Valley. And it was only $2 per person to ride the bus. Now, if you forgot something or there's something that you need, you are in luck. There is Fred Meyer and Costco here in Juneau. So we got off at Dredge Lake. It took about 45 minutes on the bus and we're gonna walk to the Mendenhall Glacier. We'll let you know how long it takes. Tongas National Forest Recreation Area, Mendenhall Glacier. Woo, Mendenhall Glacier. We're just about at the park entrance. We've been walking for 25 minutes at a pretty good pace, but it's on a nice flat sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Bear crossing. crossing it's the bear crossing and 500 feet. Uh oh. We made it to the Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center, Tongass National Forest. There are restrooms here if you need them. Up the stairs there is the visitor center and a souvenir shop but we're gonna head out on the Nugget Falls Trail. It's two miles round trip out to Nugget Falls. The trail is clearly marked and it's a compact gravel. It's easy to walk on and there's lots of people out here. There's even some nice little bridges that go over the streams. Now, friends of ours saw bears here before though on the trail. No bears today. But as we come out of the forest here, you'll see the sandbar where Nugget Falls is located. And there's also a large boulder field here as well. I actually wish I brought my swimming suit. I'd love to say that I swam here. Probably good that I didn't. <laughs> so over there, that's the Mendenhall Glacier. And then Nugget Falls here. We're gonna start making our way back on the mile long trek back to the visitor center. Now there are several spots where you can get amazing views of the Mendenhall Glacier. It's always so beautiful visiting Nugget Falls and Mendenhall Glacier. We even saw an iceberg floating by. It was beautiful. It's a very pretty walk, about 20 minutes each way if you're walking quickly. Mm -hmm. So we're headed back to the city bus and we're gonna ride that back into downtown Juneau and do some more exploring down there. We made it back to downtown Juneau and they swapped buses on us. So we got on the express bus. It only took about half an hour to get back here. So um, we're gonna go check out the whale down by the bridge as well. And yeah. It was awesome. We barely made the bus though. We ran and we caught had to, on. We had to run and <laughs> they waited for us. So great. But we made it back. Over Street Park, another five minutes to the whale. Not too far. You can see all the ships down there. And we're getting close to the bridge. This beautiful boardwalk and pathway is known as the Juno Seawalk. As you walk along, you'll see totem poles and other art features. That's cool, it looks like a ship. The bow of the ship. At the end of the Juno Seawalk, you'll find Mayor Bill Overstreet Park right by the bridge. Here you'll find several more totem poles, restrooms, and of course, Taku, a life-sized bronze humpback whale. 
This is also a fountain that sprays water several times a day. We're just walking back towards downtown and look at all the salmon down here. Tons of them. Downtown Juneau is full of culture and history. Here you will find museums, the Alaskan State Capitol. There's lots of shopping, lots of restaurants, including cute little coffee shops. At the corner of Franklin and Front Street here in downtown Juneau, you're gonna find a fun little food truck park. They've got the Alaskan Crepe Escape. They've got Dave's Fish Tacos. They've also got the oysters and champagne and you sit outside and enjoy your food. Hopefully the weather is nice for you. Franklin Street has lots of shopping. You can find local artistry here. Lots of cool stuff to check out. Heading down the street, you'll find the Alaskan Fudge Company. Inside they make fresh fudge. They also have really cute treats in the shape of animal paws. Towards the ships, you'll also find the famous Red Dog Saloon and their souvenir shop. Well, let's do some souvenir shopping here in the Alaska Juno Mining Company. They had sweatshirts for $39.95. And these t-shirts here are $14.99. They also have hats starting at two for $12. Lots of Alaskan souvenirs, Christmas ornaments, magnets, and a lot more. Hey buddy, you just sleep in here? <laughs> Funny place to fall asleep. Such a fun time here in Juneau. Did some shopping and we're gonna head back to the ship and go grab some dinner. After a fantastic day in Juneau, we had an amazing dinner in Bocelli's. Yeah, the main dining room on deck six, six at the after the ship. Yeah, and I have to say, our wait staff tonight was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it helped that we were back a little bit before the rush, so mm -hmm. the restaurant was still pretty quiet. So we had Rex and Iwan. I they were amazing. Yeah, they were so much fun. They were joking with us and just uh, great to talk to, very um, engaging with us. And helpful because tonight mm -hmm. was Italian night. Mm -hmm and we were struggling with some of the pronunciation with what we wanted to order. Yeah. So he was giving us Italian lessons, yeah. kind of, not really. <laughs> it was just a lot of fun. Yeah. It was funny. We really enjoyed dinner tonight. Should we go over what we had? Yes. We'll start out yeah. with the yeah. appetizers. Um, I had actually, a, you had, well, I don't want to like- uh, Ruin my surprise. Ruin your surprise, but I had the lasagna as an appetizer there. Offered it in a full portion for dinner, or you could ask for a small portion as an appy. So I had the Mama Mia lasagna. No, I, Mama's lasagna. Sorry. Mama's lasagna. I also had it too as an appy size. Now they also asked me if I wanted it with my appies or with my main course. So mm. I actually had mine with my main course. Yeah, and I had it as an appy. I also had a Caesar salad. So it was good. And this is another one that I, where I had troubles with. So, <laughs> but this was delicious. My daughter also had the same thing and loved it. It was the mushrooms and truffle arasini. <laughs> <laughs> You've had it before, haven't you? I had something, another arasini. It was a different, mm -hmm. um, a little bit, but uh, I learned on a previous cruise that I happen to really like this, even though I struggled to pronounce it. So it's really good. You don't good. have to say it to eat it. No, just point. I, eat, I would eat that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, the main course. What did you have? Well, both my son and I had something called the Tuscan style beef strip loin steak. Oh, did you like it? Yes. And now I'm wondering if that's what it was called. <laughs> well, Hold on one second. Well, I was right. That's what it was. I did double check. And it also came with the Chianti red wine sauce. It was delicious. Really good steak. It came with beans, which isn't really my thing. Um, so I had a little bit of that, but my son ate most of it. You gave it yeah. your extra to him. <laughs> you know what? And the spinach, actually. It came with spinach and some other vegetables. I enjoyed the spinach. Oh, oh. A lot of flavor in the spinach. Oh, yeah. that's, that, that's interesting. Yeah. Now, I went with the sautéed shrimp and sea scallops, and it had the polenta on the bottom. I think that's how you say it. I, You know what? 
At first I didn't totally love it, but then I put a little salt on it and then I really liked it. So mm -hmm. I thought it was really good. Yeah. But dessert then, really shone tonight. Is that a word? Shone? Shined? I don't know. Shone? I it, don't know. It shunned it. Shun no. no. <laughs> it was shiny. shiny. It was shiny. Shiny? Yeah, dessert was shiny. <laughs> it was shiny. It, it was good. It was really good. <laughs> so we both had... The lemon meringue cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And it had that... The lemon gave it that fresh, crisp taste. With that zest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With that kind, with kind of that graham crackery bottom. Yeah. Our Which daughter is, kept trying to steal yours. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> she, I let her, though I shared. Yeah. It was delicious. So if you're on here, order it. Try it. It yeah. was really good. Um, I had that as well. And I also um, had the French vanilla bean cre creme brulee. Mm -hmm. um, it was so it was really small. I want to say much smaller than yesterday so it was nice that it was that small mm -hmm. um, it's probably a third of the size of what they were serving yesterday so it was just Last a nice add-on. Last night was huge. Yeah. It was like huge huge. So um, yeah. more of an add-on dessert. <laughs> <laughs> add-on dessert tonight so um, that was delicious. It wasn't crunchy on the top though. No. I like it when it's cr crunchy on the top. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think we just like the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tasted delicious, yeah. but no crunch. We had a nice view again by the window, mm -hmm. and it was really a nice family dinner to mm -hmm. all sitting there. Yeah. We went out on deck for a little while, and um, we didn't stay till sail away because um, we wanted to go to the show, but it was beautiful. The sun was setting. The Norwegian Jewel, which we've sailed on before, too. Mm -hmm. The Caribbean was out there and that sailed away. It was just a wonderful evening in Juneau. It was. Yeah. Then we jumped over to the Princess Theatre and the show tonight was really funny. It was funny. So it was a comedy slash magician. Reggie Rice. Reggie Rice, yes. Yeah. He did uh, lots of tricks from um, disappearing bowling balls or appearing bowling balls to, um, I don't know. I, I don't want to call it simple magic. But classic. Like classic. Classic, classic, classic magic. Classic magic with comedy. That's where he really made it different was mm -hmm. his comedy and he's genuinely funny. Yeah, and he pulled a lot of people from the audience, a lot of people from the audience and used them in the act. It was just a lot of fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was and fun to just watch. making a lot of jokes and it's basically a comedy routine and magic at the, at the same time. So. Our kids enjoyed it too. So, mm -hmm. it, and there were young kids in the audience as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. it was a really nice overall program tonight. For sure, for sure. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Skagway. Skagway. We're actually supposed to be there at 6 a.m. That's early. That's really early. <laughs> but the good news is, I believe the all on board is at 4.30. Yeah. So, we have a long day in Skagway. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have to rush, which yeah. is going to be lovely. I don't think we're going to be off at six o'clock. No, it'll no. be later morning when we get off yeah. and we'll go do some fun stuff in Skagway. We really enjoy visiting Skagway. We do. For sure. It's a beautiful little town. So I'm excited for that. Again, just an amazing day today in Juneau. Yeah. So if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on Skagway tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we were having a great time here on the Crown Princess on this 10 day, actually it's a 10 day cruise. So, um, so we're gonna head to bed and we will see you tomorrow in Skagway. Have a good night.